You ready, Hampton? Are you ready? Okay. There we go. boy are you ready back there well howdy folks thanks for joining me today on today's travel talk um, yes I have been uh, absent and quiet for a while and um, I've just been real quiet and being introspective since my birthday I do believe it's been that long uh, yeah, nothing is wrong. Um, I've just been being real uh, introspective and um, turning 60. And then on my birthday, uh, which is really kind of neat, I guess, uh, a memorial item that I had ordered for uh, the one year anniversary of George's passing. Well, it didn't arrive in time. In fact, it was very, very, very late, you know. Uh, so, that item actually arrived on my birthday. How about that? <laughs> I mean, who, who could have done that except for the Lord, right? Who could have done that? Right on my birthday. And it was a memorial item. And um, I'll show you a picture of it. Uh, So yeah, that that item came on my birthday and I've just been really introspective and quiet and thinking and then of course we did have four days of that ice rainstorm which uh, block, you know, kept us inside and we did do, accomplish quite a bit. In fact, uh, Colin hung the TV mount on the wall in the living room so that's done um he hung some uh shelving for Brittany and some stuff for uh kylie on the walls and um he replaced the front porch light he's been really busy you know i mean these things aren't don't don't take a long time but he's been real uh real good at at getting right in there and getting things done he's and he's becoming quite handy to have around I really am lucky and thank you Colin if you see this if you're watching this I don't know if you watch these <laughs> but if you are thank you honey you, you're really blossoming into a fine young man you know Colin isn't very old he's only 20 um, which you know is a young man uh, so he's got a lot of learning to do and we've been dealing with his these, this car issue for Brittany and Colin, their Merce, the Mercedes, uh, can't talk, their Mercedes is acting up a little bit. Um, it is an older car, and um, so just little fine tunes here and there, there and here, you know. Um, I am very excited this week, though, uh, because finally the doors, the all the windows and the sliding door will be installed we have an installation date which is two days from today today's Monday so they're gonna be installed on Wednesday and I can't wait I'm, I'm a little nervous too you know uh, I know that I've been I had a house in California that uh, had the windows all replaced while we were living there and you know it, I mean it's an intrusion and there's a lot of banging and there's a lot of this and there's a lot of that hopefully though uh, it won't be too bad I I don't know I expect it will <laughs> it's gonna be noisy and it's gonna be you know <sighs> we'll have to put up with a little bit of irritation but I am 
so happy that they're finally going to be installed because they've been delayed and delayed and delayed. It was supposed to be installed uh, initially, you know. He said, well, we've got about a three-week turnaround. Ah, that was in November. So I guess the Omicron or whatever kind of nonsense, you know, caused, and then the holidays, and they didn't do any um, work or fabrication, you know, at all, because they're made right here in Arkansas. I went through Natural State Windows, and it's an Arkansas company, and um, yeah, so they make them right here, but apparently they didn't do much work in January at all, and I don't know if it's because of sickness or what, but uh, my name has finally been brought to the forefront, my order, and they're going to be installed on Wednesday, and it'll, probably, it'll take Wednesday and Thursday, and he said, you know, maybe a bit of Friday, depends on how smooth things go, but the house is going to change totally in the in the exterior looks um, and it's also going to change of course in the interior looks but um, uh, with the efficiency I'm really excited really excited to get those old windows out and uh, if I have to put up with some banging and knocking around you know for two and two and a half days well so be it maybe I'll just go hang out at Melanie's place <laughs> at the 41.36 I don't know, or just go to town, who knows, or just sit there and observe, whatever, today uh, I'm going into town because I have no oil life left in my vehicle, I have been trying to get this thing, uh, the oil changed, and it's one thing or another made me not keep my previous appointments, I had two previous appointments, uh, one was because of the, the freezing rain that I wasn't aware of, that was uh, when I made the appointment, that was going to be coming our way and another one I think I was just too plumb busy that day uh, just couldn't make it I got just caught up doing something I think it, maybe it was the day that uh, I had to pick up Kylie from school but anyway all that's behind me now so the oil will be changed today and I am very happy about that because uh, I'm giving consideration of taking my vehicle uh, to Arizona when I go next month. Kylie and I are going to be going to Arizona and I'm most likely going to take the RV because I really like the idea of having uh, a roof over my head and a bathroom right handy. That's a really nice feature of having an RV, folks. You can pull into a rest stop and take a little snooze if you need to. It's really... Uh, a nice feeling when you have that. Uh, so, and when I was calculating out the cost, you know, everybody says, well, the gas is going to be tremendous, you know. Um, and the gas is going to be one way for this vehicle, it said it would be about $180. For the other vehicle, you know, I'm always figuring about $500. Um, one way, but the thing of it is, I would have to pay for hotel rooms or bunk in with friends, which I I don't like doing. But number one, I have my Hampton; he'll be with me, and I just don't like putting people out, you know, or bunking in. I like my privacy. I like my quiet time. I don't like. I really don't. So I wouldn't do that. I might stay one night with uh, my best friend Joyce. But, mm, I really in, like having my own privacy. And uh, for that reason, I'm most likely going to be taking the RV. Because by the time I pay for hotels, which, you know, they're not cheap, even if I get a discounted rate. You know, it's just going to all come out in the wash. So, I think I'll go pick up the RV next week. Um, the... It is at the Camping World and, and the, um, oh my gosh darn, they had to order, you know that other, that other um, jack was bent? So, I don't know 
know what the heck happened to those jacks. I don't know if I did it, and I hope not because that means I did something wrong, I think. <laughs> but I don't know what, I mean, I, how did those things, and that one jack flying off, right, was just came, came off, just, just gone in the spring hitting the, oh my gosh, I can't even think about it. The spring hitting the Mercedes and just, it just gives me a heart attack thinking about it almost. I got, I, so they're going to replace both those jacks. It's not going to be cheap, but by golly, I need to have that done. And, um, but I don't need to have the jacks, um, done to take it out because, um, that's just for, you know, leveling and stuff. And, uh, I can find level places, but, um, hopefully it'll be done and I can, uh, pick it all up but if it's not done if the jacks aren't because they had to order and manufacture you know they have to manufacture those things so if that isn't ready um i can still pick it up and take it which most likely is what i will do because um for the reasons i just said i like having the bathroom i like having my own little house i like being able to just you know, pull over and take a little snooze if I get tired. And Kylie and I will have plenty of room. So, um, that's coming up. That's coming up in March. And I, it's a really neat story because I had already planned on going out there because our church is having their uh, quarterly uh, business meeting and I'm the secretary and the treasurer for the church. So, the last meeting we did it, I was there through the zoom and that's okay but Kylie has uh, a week off of school for her spring break so I thought well we'll just take a drive I can go to the meeting she can visit with Reese all that time that we're there her best friend and she's just just is so so happy and excited to see him and um, what the heck and then what happened, this is the really cool part, guys. The closing of my house is going to be, and I got notification, uh, this was established after we had already made our plans to be uh, in Arizona because I made those plans based on Kylie's school uh, uh, spring break. Well, guess what? We're gonna close the house. Escrow's gonna close when we get there. Now, can you believe that? That is uh, that is totally God. So I'll be able to go and sign in person instead of through the uh, mobile notary because it has to be notarized and all that. So I'll be able to go and sign in person and get the escrow closed um, in person. I th I think that was just so cool the way God worked that out. And, um, you know, a lot of people say, well, that's just coincidence and blah, blah, blah. Well, you know, I don't, you can believe that. That's fine. But I believe that there are no coincidences for the children of God, for those who he calls his own. And um, he calls us by name. He knows the number of hairs on our head. And uh, I believe that the coincidences are for the Christian is that God is moving in your life on your behalf and showing you favor. Now that was now, would it have been a problem to have a mobile notary? No, they would have come to the house. I would have notarized. It would have just delayed the closing a little bit. And I really want to get this done. I want to get it off my back and um, just finish it, you know, get it off my plate and get it done. And um, so while I'm there, having the escrow close um, on one of the days is just, just awesome. It's just awesome. So um, also... I'll get to see my friends when I'm there. Kylie get to see her friends. Hampton, maybe you'll go to your old groomer. Would you like to visit your old groomer when you're there? <laughs> she did a fantastic job on him. 
and who knows, uh, he's going to the groomer today, but, you know, it, it never hurts to have him groomed, let me tell you, uh, but it'd be a little soon, but we'll see, we'll see, um, so, yes, that's why, you know, I've just been pretty quiet and introspective and, and learning, uh, more things about myself with, you know, uh, daily reflections and things like that, and, um, my apologies for, for, you know, disappointing anybody. I haven't had the lives, uh, the last two weeks, and I'm gonna be, you know, that's all coming to an end, folks. It's all coming to an end, and, um, you'll be seeing more, more of me again. <laughs> you'll be seeing more of me again, okay? So, uh, thanks for joining me today and uh watching and keep looking for some some more videos i've got some things in my mind that i'm thinking about and i'm going to uh you guys want to see some of those videos about see some of the work being done on the windows i'll film some of that if you all want to see some of that i'll be filming and i'll post some of that it might uh i don't know i'll have to make sure that it's okay with the workers because i don't want to uh film and post without them knowing you know that's why the guys on the deck you know they did the work and stuff but they weren't real keen about being filmed and posted on the YouTube and, and that's okay because there's you know a lot of people are like that so providing uh, they're okay with it I'll capture some of that on film and show it to y'all and I am pulling up to the dealership now and I'm gonna get my oil changed. I just love having these short drives to where I need to go. In Arizona, it was an hour one way just to get to the town where I needed to go. Hi. Keep the change, dear. You too. Ah, so I'm here at Sonic. Got me my favorite breakfast sandwich. Um, it is a toaster. Do you guys like these? These are so good. 